friends, Benita from Knitting in the Mitten. I should really call myself Gardening in the Mitten, but that doesn't sound as catchy. So um, I'm going to show you how to catch um, Japanese beetles that like to grow on bean plants. So I have a uh, container of soapy water and I'm going to knock them into here and then I'm going to dispose of them. Well, it's hard to tell how many I caught because they're in the soapy water, but I caught quite a few, well over a dozen. So they can't eat my um, bean plants. Hello again. So, um... I am going to do what my nieces told me I should do, which is post um, some of the things I've been knitting or I have knit and um, what I liked about them or why I knit them, things like that. I have mentioned um, the site Ravelry. Um, Ravelry is a website for knitters and crocheters and other fiber artists according to their web page um, what's great about it is you can um, if you buy some yarn and you don't know what to do with it you can type in the yarn and um, it will give you ideas of what other people have done with it and you can see the photos and their comments and all of that if you want to knit something you can search for anything and see all the people that have knit that thing and what yarn they used and everything so um, it's really it's really super helpful if you're a knitter like me I don't crochet um, but um, my friends told me about it when I lived in Minnesota when it was just starting and they were letting some people test it out and so some of us got to test it out and um, it now has a whole new look. Just recently they changed the look. Um, but if you like to knit or crochet, I definitely recommend signing up and you can get caught in a rabbit hole. Um, you can also follow people. So if you wanna look me up there, I'm Auntie Bonita and you can see all the things I've posted. So. I will be making some videos to show you the things I have knit. So um, the first thing that is on my Ravelry page is a puppet that I made. Sorry, I've got my other phone here so I can look at it. I made it, I have no idea when because I didn't put a date in apparently. Um, and I will show you a picture of the puppet. And apparently, um, at the time, I said, I love this pattern. The finished product always brings a smile. And I have since found some sew-on googly eyes that I really like to use for this puppet. Um, but you can also use snap-on eyes that I have found in the doll supply section of craft stores. So, um, and apparently I made it for my friend's daughter, Eliza. So I did not remember that but Eliza is nearly grown up. So um, it was quite a while ago that I made it. Um, and then I realized that I had a picture of another puppet that I made. So I'll share that too. It's a fuzzier puppet. And I call it the fuzzy lopey puppet because um, it was knit with some yarn called Lopi, and it says I made it for Grace's place. So I guess I made it for, um, there used to be a store in Papa called Grace's Place, and they had um, things that were handmade locally. So um, I don't remember if it sold there or not. Um, again, that was, uh, that was 2007, it says. So I don't remember all the details here. Um, let's see, it was a fuzzier puppet, and it, it more resembled a rabbit than a mouse, as it usually does. Um, and it was much bigger than the other puppet that I made. Um, so, anyway, there's two things that I have made, 
in my knitting lifetime and I will share more. I will link to these um, Ravelry pages for these two puppets and you can see what yarn I used and all that. So, so the other thing about the puppet is that um, it's felted. So you knit it with 100% wool and then you wash it in very hot water, preferably in a top loading, loading washing machine um, until all the stitches disappear and it turns into felt. So um, it's pretty fun, um, but you never know what size it's going to be unless you use, well, it, you just never know because your machine might felt the exact same yarn differently than my machine. So it's always an adventure when you felt. Um, happy knitting!